Welcome to the Solar System, a cosmic documentary. In this audio journey, we will explore the wonders of our solar system, its celestial bodies, and their fascinating characteristics. Let's embark on this astronomical adventure together. Chapter 6. The Solar System In the vast expanse of space, our solar system stands as a captivating cosmic ensemble. It consists of the Sun, our radiant star, and eight planets that orbit around it. Each planet has its own unique features and properties, as well as natural satellites called moons. Let's take a closer look at each component of our cosmic neighborhood. The Sun is the central figure of our solar system. It is a medium-sized star composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. It emits energy across the electromagnetic spectrum, from infrared to visible light and even ultraviolet rays. The Sun's gravity holds the planets and other celestial objects in its orbit. The planets are arranged in their order from the Sun based on their distance and size. The first four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are called terrestrial planets because they have solid surfaces made of rock and metal. The next four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are called gas giants because they have thick atmospheres made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the Sun. It has a rocky surface covered with craters and a thin atmosphere. It has no moons and experiences extreme temperatures due to its proximity to the Sun. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the hottest planet in our solar system. It has a thick atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide that traps heat and creates a greenhouse effect. It has no moons and rotates in the opposite direction to most other planets. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and our home planet. It has a moderate climate that supports life. It has one moon that influences its tides and seasons. It has a thin atmosphere that protects it from harmful radiation and meteoroids. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in our solar system. It has a reddish appearance due to iron oxide in its soil. It has two small moons named Phobos and Deimos. It has a thin atmosphere that allows water to exist as ice at its poles. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest planet in our solar system. It has a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has at least 79 moons, including four large ones called Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. It also has a faint ring system and a powerful magnetic field. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. It has a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has at least 82 moons, including one large one called Titan that has its own atmosphere. It also has a spectacular ring system made of ice and dust particles. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and the third largest planet in our solar system. It has a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has at least 27 moons, including five large ones called Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon. It also has a faint ring system and a unique tilt that makes it rotate on its side. Neptune is the eighth and farthest known planet from the Sun in our solar system. It has a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has at least 14 moons, including one large one called Triton that orbits in the opposite direction to most other moons. It also has a faint ring system and a powerful storm system called the Great Dark Spot. Our solar system also hosts numerous minor planets, such as Pluto, classified as a dwarf planet. The asteroid belt, situated between Mars and Jupiter, harbors countless rocky fragments called asteroids. These remnants offer insights into the early stages of our solar system's formation. Comets are icy visitors from the outer reaches of our system that occasionally grace our night skies with their luminous tails. These cosmic snowballs hold clues about the early formation of our cosmic neighborhood. The diversity within our solar system is attributed to its formation, explained by the accretion model. 
This model suggests that the planet's differences stem from a combination of gravity, the presence of various elements in interstellar clouds, and the rotation of material within these clouds. Gravity played a pivotal role, pulling together particles and rocks in the inner region of the solar system. This led to the formation of the rocky planets closer to the sun, while lighter gases were blown away by the solar wind. Interstellar clouds composed of gas and dust contained a wealth of elements. These elements, including rocks and metals, allowed the formation of solid bodies like the rocky planets we know. As the cloud rotated, it flattened into an accretion disk. The denser material in this disk coalesced to form the rocky planets, while the lighter gases farther from the sun gave rise to the gaseous giants we see today. This remarkable accretion process sculpted our diverse solar system, where the inner planets are rocky and small, while the outer planets are massive and gaseous. Let's take a moment to understand the underlying principles governing the solar system and its celestial objects. The orbital speed of a planet can be calculated using the equation V equals 2P times R divided by T, where V represents the orbital speed R is the distance from the planet to its center, and T is the time taken to complete one orbit. Moreover, one light year, the distance traveled by light in a vacuum in one year, is equivalent to approximately 9.5 times 10 to the power of 15 meters. This vast unit helps us fathom the immense scale of our cosmic surroundings. In the realm of galaxies, we find the majestic Milky Way, our cosmic home, it comprises billions of stars, including our very own Sun. Although the Sun resides within the Milky Way, the other stars in our galaxy are much farther away from Earth than our Sun. These astronomical distances are measured in light years, revealing the incredible expanse of our universe. Redshift, the observed increase in wavelength of electromagnetic radiation emitted from receding stars and galaxies provides valuable insights into our expanding universe. When we observe distant galaxies, we notice their light appears redshifted compared to the light emitted on Earth. This redshift phenomenon signifies that the universe is expanding, reinforcing the foundations of the Big Bang Theory. Scientists have also discovered cosmic microwave background radiation, CMBR, which permeates all points in space. This radiation, observed at a specific frequency, originated shortly after the universe's formation and has since expanded into the microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum. By studying redshift in the light from galaxies and measuring their distances, astronomers can determine their speeds and distances. The Hubble constant, denoted as h, represents the ratio of a galaxy's speed away from Earth to its distance from Earth. Currently, the estimate for the Hubble constant, h, is approximately 2.2 times 10 to the power of negative 18 per second. The relationship between distance, d, and velocity, v, can be expressed as d divided by v equals 1 divided by h. This equation provides a means to estimate the age of the universe, supporting the notion that all matter in the cosmos originated from a single point. Join us in the next chapter as we venture beyond our solar system to explore the stars and their fascinating problems.